Trump 2016, the Donald shaking up the presidential race in a big way. And today, formally filing his paperwork to officially become a presidential candidate. So does he have what it takes to make it to the White House? Presidential candidate going on the record just hours ago. Joins us. Good evening, Donald. Hello, Greta. Donald, um, big discussion, big picture in the news today and over the past few days has been race relations in this country. The president used the N-word today, which is striking some controversy in some circles. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton used the term white privilege over the weekend. Tell me, are all these discussions, I mean, tell me how are race relations in this country in your mind and what would you do as president? Well, it's always going to be a big topic. There's no question about it. And you would have thought with an African-American president, if at a minimum, you would have thought that he would have been a cheerleader for the country. And frankly, it would have been a lot better. But it hasn't worked out very well. It's probably as bad as it's ever been. So it is a big problem. One of the things you have to do is get the country working again, get jobs, create jobs, take jobs away from China, take jobs away from Mexico and all the other places that are taking our jobs. People have no place to work. Work. You know, the real unemployment number, Greta, is probably close to 20 percent, might even be higher than that, according to many. And we have to create places and, and jobs. If we don't do that, it's going to be a very, very long couple of years that I can tell you and beyond. So you think that the deep wounds that have historically been in this country are healed with more jobs? Well, it's going to help. I mean, you need lots of things. You need family, you need jobs, you need education. But jobs is something we can really do something about quickly. We have to take the jobs away from other countries that are making our product, they're taking our money, and they are, in fact, taking our jobs. Whether we like it or not, whether people want to talk about it or not, you look at what's going on in Japan and China and so many other places. You look at the manufacturing that's going on. We're not doing it. They're doing it. All right, let me talk about a little bit about jobs. One, the Trade Promotion Authority, and you have tweeted this. That's the uh, Trade Promotion Authority is pending in the U.S. Senate. It says the Senate must not pass TPA. Any senator who votes for it is disqualified for being president of the United States. Protect the American worker and manufacturer. Now, a lot of Republicans and, of course, the president, this sort of bipartisan, want the TPA. Why do you see this as a disqualifier for any senator who votes for it? Because lobbyists and donors who really control the politicians in this country, they want it because they're representing companies that benefit. But the country is not benefiting. And I will tell you, we are really, that is really a bad thing. I just mentioned jobs. That is really a bad thing. That trade pact is a disaster for jobs in our country. We should not have it. It doesn't talk about currency manipulation the way it should. It covers too big an area. We should do individual agreements with individual countries. And the the fact is, Obama is not a negotiator. The last person I want negotiating for me is President Obama, and he's got free wheel on this thing. So it's absolutely a disaster for the country and a disaster for business and jobs. So it's official. You're in 100%. Which will be very disappointing to a lot of people that are all talk and no action, the politicians. You know, there's a whole big thing out there. These people will never bring us back to the promised land. They will never do it. Uh, a lot of politicians and a lot of pundits are very disappointed. And they said, oh, he'll never file. Well, I filed as of today. I'm filed.